ex situ conservation. In this approach, threatened animals and plants are taken out from their natural habitat and placed in special settings where they can be protected and given special care. Botanical gardens, zoological parks, wildlife safari parks serve the purpose. There are many animals that have become extinct in the wild but continue to be maintained in zoological parks. In recent years, ex situ conservation has advanced beyond keeping threatened species in enclosures. Now, gametes of threatened species can be preserved in viable and fertile condition for long periods using cryopreservation techniques. Eggs can be fertilized in vitro and plants can be propagated using tissue culture methods. Seeds of different genetic strains of commercially important plants can be kept for long periods in seed banks. Biodiversity knows no political boundaries and its conservation is therefore a collective responsibility of all nations. The historic convention on biological diversity, the Earth Summit held in Rio de Janeiro in 1992 called upon all nations to take appropriate measures for conservation of biodiversity and sustainable utilization of its benefits. In a follow-up, the World Summit on Sustainable Development held in 2002 in Johannesburg, South Africa, 100 countries pledged their commitment to achieve by 2010 a significant reduction in the current rate of biodiversity loss at global regional and local levels. The IUCN Red List Categories The International Union of Conservation of Nature and Natural Resources IUCN, maintain a document called Red List or Red Data Book of taxa that are facing the risk of extinction.